What's going on guys? Awesome time here and before the video starts I just wanted to go ahead and give a huge thanks to one of my buddies here uh, where I live. He helped me find Scavenger and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and give him a little shout out. I'm not going to reveal his name or anything. Keep him anonymous just how he likes it and I shall respect that. Uh, but yeah, I know you're watching this video and I just want to say thank you so much for this. He actually sold this to me for $50 and because um, he bought it and decided he did not uh, he didn't want to keep it. So uh I took it off his hands and uh, did not regret it, so that's that's why you guys didn't see a toy hunt for Scavenger. But um, yeah, guys, um, thank you, man. All right, on with the video. What's going on, guys? Awesome is Prime back. Welcome back to another Transformers unboxing video. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the camera is set up just a tiny tad different. It's raised a little higher, so this is a more wider view-ish. -ish. You can see more of our Kiro cabinet, less of the curtain. And I do apologize, I don't have a, anywhere in my house, in my home, where I can just do like very professional-ish unboxings. But I mean, to me that doesn't really, it matters, but it doesn't, you know? I don't need a big old fancy smancy background or anything. And I do have an idea for a future background, but uh, we'll see about that. So in today's video, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing of Soundwave and Wheeljack. Those are the first two figures you guys voted. The third and fourth figures, I'm deciding everything there. We will see what happens. Tons of videos to come, guys. And you may be seeing the same shirt in multiple videos because I do this on random nights. Today I will be, un tonight I'm unboxing two figures. So, um, yeah. And at this point, you guys don't even, well, at this point in time, you guys don't know the next figure. You might know now because it might be uploaded. I don't know. But we'll wait and see. So yeah, guys, in today's video, we are going to be unboxing. You're probably your site and you see in the title. So why, why am I trying to keep it a secret? We're going to be unboxing Studio Series Wave 8 Leader Class Scavenger. Wow, this dude is huge. He looks big. And uh, he looks very interesting and unique. And uh, yeah. He has a separate piece right there, didn't even notice. Uh, I have my original, well, technically this is not Demolisher from the beginning of Revenge of the Fallen. It is Scavenger who connects Devastator because for some reason Bayverse films have duplicates, which I can't stand. It's very irritating, but it's whatever. So let's open up Scavenger. Alrighty guys, here's my first look at him out of his packaging. So big. Wow, that looks so good. Holy smokes. Oh god, these leaders are so ginormous. Whoa. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting figure. This is gonna be interesting. I love the packaging. That was a weird sound. They need to adjust the con the instructions to different colors because I can't stand the purple. In my Earthrise video, you might have noticed I love, 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 love the new Earthrise instructions because you can see what you're doing. Here's the backdrop, like the other Constructicons. We're gonna put that aside, and we are going to take a look at Devastator in his shelling. That's what I'm gonna call this. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take him out of his shell. Alrighty, there we go. I did it. So these little pieces up here, I don't know if you can see it well, but you have to swivel it from back here to up here into the little tabs. So, um, yeah, this guy didn't tab it all the way. There we are, guys. So, um, yeah, that is Demolisher or Scavenger in his robot mode. And I just want to say, I think Hasbro did a really good job on this figure. Um, anybody who doesn't display him like this, if they're not connected to Devastator once, he is complete. You're wild, man, because this looks beautiful. Uh, it's such a wacky design. Like, he really just does this. Like, he just was just like demolishing everything. Like, here, you should grab your movie 2 prime and just have him jump on him. And Ironhide can be behind. Pull over. 
But uh, even though we know that wasn't on Demolisher, I just nice. For me, it's the same thing, like the with Skipjack and Rampage. To me, that's the same thing, relative, re relatively the same character. One's orange, one yellow, one is not connected to Saver, but they devastate it, but they look the exact same. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, guys, uh, that, my opinions on this figure, he looks absolutely great. Hasbro did an amazing job, and I'm very excited to display this figure once I make more room. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. He does have, mine has a little paint chip. I don't know if er at least that's what it looks like, but um, it doesn't bother me, you know? I love this figure. The only thing he, he could be lacking is more paint applications. But that's not even a big deal to me. Like, it is, but it isn't. I it, I like the figure and how it looks. But for me, it's good enough. Hasbro did a good job with it. And I'm happy with it. So that's what matters most. And, um, yeah, guys, that the look at this dude. He's huge. Now, this is a leader class figure. At least for me, anyways. I know he, he might be... I mean, I don't have figures right now to, to compare him with, but if you compare him next to a Voyager, I could see why, and he should be scaled as a leader. And, um, so it's just some other figures, but they don't. So, um, yeah, guys, remember, these are unboxings, not reviews, so I'm not gonna go ahead and go about every little thing, but, uh, I love the head sculpt, I love all the sculpting, or the sculpting, what am I saying? I love all the details in that head, I don't know if it's gonna focus at all, but the details look so good in this head sculpt to me. So um, I'm happy with it. But guys, without further ado, let's take a look at this guy in his vehicle mode. You know, I'm gonna make a comment. I've always noticed that when I'm in the middle of transforming, a brand new transformer, some of these figures have just the wackiest mid transformation designs. What, what is this? It's, it's a tricycle. It's literally a trike. It's madness. And his head is upside down. He's a, he's got wings. He's flying. Like, <laughs> those just fell into, I'm just going to display him like this, guys. I'm just going to, what the heck? I'm just going to display him like that. It looks all wacky. Perfect. Like, I'm sorry. I just always think that these transformations look so wacky mid-transformation. Just, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, tricycle boy. Alrighty guys, and here we have uh, sc Scavenger. Scavenger, am I tripping right now? Scavenger. We have Scavenger in his vehicle mode. And may I say, it looks very good. I love this so much. It's funny how this is a leaguer class, and if I compare to this, Next to the original scavenger from the 2009 set, it would look really good, and I love that so much. And um, yeah, I, I can't really complain about it. I mean, the only thing I guess I could complain about is, oh, these pieces are old, you can see through the top, just like I did complain about long haul. But those are just my personal preferences, you know? Preferences. But those aren't things that I truly, like, truly, 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 truly care about. They're not deal breakers. Like, look at me here. I own the figure. And I'm happy with the figure. And um, I know what you guys are thinking. I did say at the beginning of the video this was an unboxing video. It is an unboxing video. But this is also a Road to Devastator video. I completely forgot about the series, guys. Because the, they didn't come out for a while. So uh, I think we completely skipped Hightower. Or one of... We skipped one of them. So there will be, be a missing episode from the web series. But... Uh, yeah, and I know I did show the Constructicon part or the Devastator part in the other videos if I did. I believe I did. But I will not be doing that for Scavenger as I want to wait till later this year to finish Devastator with you guys to see what he looks like. Because when we get all eight Constructicons, you better bet that I am going to have him complete in a video for you guys and it is going to look so good so yeah see so, yeah, ya guys uh, one more. I love that it rolls so easy they'd be so cool for stop motions like and then the I'm such a nerd I love being a nerd guys being being a nerd being a transformer loving 
A Transformers lover is amazing. I have a friend, I'm not going to reveal his name, but I have a friend who is just getting more. He's always been into action figures, not Transformers, but Marvel's Legends specifically. And he's been into them for, a, I don't know exactly how long, but I know he's been into them. And um, I just love that he's being more about it. He's bought new figures recently, I believe. He bought... Uh, well, I bought him a Wolverine for his birthday because his birthday is actually the filming. Actually, no, it's not because it's one in the morning, but an hour ago it was his birthday. So happy belated birthday to my friend. And uh, I just love that um, people need to express things that they love. I love Transformers. I'm not scared to show that. I literally show you guys. I literally have a video of me toy hunting for the last night figures with a quarter of a million views. That still boggles my brain, but... um. Yeah, and we're almost at 2K views. That's awesome. I love that. And um, this boy is awesome. I love it. This is Scavenger, guys. The, I, I love the paint apps. The paint apps look good to me. They look they look fine to me. I love the little additions because I know these big machines are big. So it looks good. I love it. I'm happy with Scavenger. Scavenger is a beautiful figure. If you see him, pick him up. That's my recommendation. And... Um, yeah, I don't see an issue with him, especially if you want to collect all eight Constructicons. And uh, I love the mechanics of the transformation, the engineering. It is a beautiful, as you guys saw, the tricycle. I just love the uniqueness of mid-transformations. The twisting, turning, ratcheting, joining, everything. It is all so beautiful, and I love it so very much. So, um, yeah, very unique transformation. I love how everything comes into one, and... Kudos to Hasbro and the team at Hasbro that makes these figures for us. Um, I mean, yeah, like 10 years ago, if you would have told me in, in 2009 when I was 8 years old, if you would have told me I'm going to get a, a figure of Scavenger 11 years in the future, I would think you're insane. How is that possible? You know, it, 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 it's such an amazing, amazing line, the Studio Series. And the only thing that's kind of crazy about it is there's only so much you can do with it because there is a limited amount of characters. But... I believe that's why Hasbro isn't releasing these so fast, you know? They're only giving us like three to four waves a year, and I know that could be a lot, but I mean, this is the third year we are into Studio Series, I believe. Yeah, we're in our third year of Studio Series, if I'm not wrong, and it's awesome, you know? It's doing super good, it's still going strong. It's crazy that we're surpassing these numbers, and I love it. So yeah, guys, without further ado, if you guys enjoyed that video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new and you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video. It means the world to me. I love expressing expressing my feelings for Transformers and for toys to you guys. And um, I hope you guys feel the same and want to leave some comments down below. Express how you think about figures and stuff. And... um. Yeah, guys, I think that's all I got to say. Just like I said, if you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe for more Transformers awesomeness in the future. And, um, yeah, Scavenger was beautiful to unbox. Can't wait to unbox the next figure. This is Austin's Prime. Same. Peace out.